All right, welcome to another Laguna Quick Start tutorial for the PL1220 laser machine. In this tutorial, we will take a look at working with an image inside of Illustrator. Uh, in this case, we just have a gear image and nothing special, but it, we'll use this to create our vectors for cutting inside of RD Works. Uh, so let's get started. One of the most basic tasks that you'll do is you'll be doing a lot of tracing inside of Illustrator. So I opened up this image inside of Illustrator and as you can see here we have um, here we have a gear. Now we're going to use this image trace function but before we do that you want to make sure that you come up and have your image trace options selected. And when you do that you'll see that you have all sorts of various parameters you can set. In this case, what we're really concerned about here is this ignore white. And I want to check that and make sure that we have the ignore white set. Because if we don't, when we output this file or trace this file, it will actually double up and trace another path around the white area here on this gear that we're going to have to deal with inside of our, our D-Works. We're going to have to delete all of these, these things inside of our D-Works. And um, I think I could, I could show you that right now. Uh, I will go ahead and open up our D-Works. Here is um, the same file, but without that option checked. And as you can see, I can click on some various things here, but I'm actually getting a grayed out area. It, it won't select like I want it to. Um, these should turn red uh, when when I click on them because that would indicate that it's the vector is is in an active position inside here so anyway it's very simple inside of our dworks all you would have to do is select one of these and go ahead and and hit delete and now you can see where that one now has um, is active so just to show you how this looks visually let's take a look in the simulator and we'll, we'll go ahead and, and do a simulated cut. And as you can see, it'll go around the outside here first, and then it'll start to trace these insides, but you can see where it's doubling up. It's cutting, going around. Now this one, down here at the bottom, all of those are double cuts. And this one just did it once. And now it's going around and doing a second pass and really that's because of that white area. It's, it's um, cutting basically for the white. Now in some cases this might be good um, if you are just doing a cut and you want it to go through and do, you know, a, if you're cutting a fairly thick material um, and it's a fairly simple item like this, I'm gonna hit escape to get out of our simulation there. Um, so it could be useful in some cases, but most of the time, if you're working with vectors in here, it, it might not be. So that's just something to be aware of. It's something, um, you know, fairly common to, um, you know, a mistake or not necessarily a mistake, but just an option that was overlooked uh, when creating an Illustrator file. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, let's hide our, uh, yeah, let's, let's hide that for a second and get back to this. Okay, so we, we have this ignore white checked and we're ready to trace the image. So we'll go ahead and, and trace this and you won't see anything happen immediately um, because we need to expand that tracing. So when I click on expand, you can now see where those are all of your paths. Okay, so this one should print perfectly or cut perfectly. So what I'll do is come into file and I'll go ahead and save it as and I'll save this as um, our final, I'll put an underscore here and final uh, gear one PNG AI. And I'll go ahead and save it to my desktop and we'll just leave it in a regular Adobe Illustrator format. There we go. And I'll hit OK. And there it is. So let's hide Illustrator. And here's my final gear one PNG. All right, so I've opened up our DWorks here, and this was the file that we were working with before, which didn't look so great and wasn't doing what we needed. So I'm gonna just go ahead and delete that. And now I'll go ahead and bring our new file in. So we'll import, and in this case, we'll go and get this final gear one PNG, and we'll open that up. 
And you'll notice it's a little oversized for the artboard. So let's fix that first by just selecting everything. I think what I'll do is group these. You'll be using your group and ungroup options here quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and group those. I'm gonna lock down the ratio right here. You have this lock right here and I'll go ahead and, and select this item. And with that locked, I'll switch this down to say 10 inches. And then I can just click in here and that'll resize it to fit our space. So let's take a look at this right off the bat. I'll go ahead and, and ungroup these. So we'll go ahead and choose that. And now you can see where each one of these pieces is perfect and ready to go. So let's try a quick test cut. I'm gonna come up here into our group, our preview simulation, and we'll do that sim and take a look. And it should just cut everything perfectly. So there you go. Um, it's just one of those things in Illustrator that if, if you overlook or your client overlooks when they give you a file, it could lead to uh, a number of headaches down the road, especially if you have a lot of complex uh, vectors in here to cut. Thanks for watching.